Hi, my name is Roland from PMI JCM Realty Group, where we manage properties from an asset management perspective. Um, so today, what I want to really talk to you about are five rental property investment trends to know in 2021. And so we all know that 2021 has been a tumultuous year, right? And even though we're coming through to the end of the pandemic, uh, we still have a lot of challenges that we are dealing with, right? And so, you know, the last two years were crazy, it's getting a little bit more calm now, but at the end of the day, we're still dealing with a lot of the, you know, trauma, um, or shall I say post-traumatic stress of having to go through um, the pandemic. But even though, you know, we've gone through that trauma and stress, the real estate market has been on a high, right? So the sales have been on a high and the rentals have been on a high as well. Um, but it's getting harder to identify opportunities and it's also getting harder to um, determine how you're gonna get a real good return on your investment. And so what I wanna do today is I wanna talk about some tips, some trends that you need to look for to help you know, your ROI moving forward, right? So you can think of these as some ROI driven suggestions. Now, typically what I do is I go through and I just talk through the articles that I've written. Um, you can go back and read the article for a more formal read of the recommendations and the tips that I'm providing to you. Um, but for those of you who just want, you know, a synopsis or who want the cliff notes, um, this will give you that information um, in a con concise way so that you can um, take the information and use it um, for whatever you need to moving forward. So the first thing that, um, first trend that I wanna talk to you about is a very important one. Um, and this thing went too far, let me bring that back. Um, and so Tampa is a lucrative investment and this is according to uh, Money Crashes. So Money Crashes did a report and what they're saying is basically uh, Tampa with its magnificent beaches, tourism, swelling population is a great place for, um, for um, investors to uh, put their money. Now, if you're coming from New York and California, that's clear to see. But maybe if you're coming from other parts of the world or other parts of the country, um, like Memphis or, or Arkansas or, you know, Texas, some of those places where, you, you know, you may not, you may not necessarily think of Tampa as a place to put your money where the investment may be great, but the advantages that Tampa has is, you know, uh, it's very close to the beaches and it's, it's swelling, it's booming. Um, and, you know, the population and the tourism are all great um, reasons for you to invest in this, in this area, right? So um, un unemployment rates are historically low, right? Is at 2.9%. And that is considered full employment, right? Anything I think less than four is considered full employment. So uh, people here are working, right? And you wanna have rental properties where people are working because then they can afford um, to pay um, their rent, right? And you have a projected year over year growth of 5.7%. Um, and the job clock, the job rate looks to be able to grow, looks like it's gonna be growing at 1.78%, right? So. So that's one reason, right? You have articles being written by, um, by independent folks who see Tampa as uh, one of the top places to invest, right? Next, um, Forbes predicts that the rental market will continue to expand, right? And if you look at what some of, um, some of the big hedge funds that, um, that deal in properties are doing, right? They are you know, building whole communities just for rental, not for sale, right? And so when you see big organizations like that performing those types of actions, you wanna follow suit. Like I'm working with an investor right now and he is literally building homes to put tenants in, right? Like, and the reality is with the, with the growth, with the, with the rate that what, what, what people are asking for in terms of, you know, quality of homes, right? And the price that sellers are charging to buy a home or, or, or selling are charging to sell a home, sometimes it's better to just build something from scratch because you can get everything at cost basically, right? And then from there, you know, you can rent out it out to um, a renter and make your money back uh, that way. So I would tell you, you know, if you can go down that path. At the end of the day, though, 
the reality is um, the rental market will continue to expand from 2021 to 2020 um, to 2022, right? Because some people are still being impacted, being furloughed, laid off, with um, and, you know, based just off the shutdown, and they can't really afford a place to buy a place to live, and so um, they're going to be looking for a place to rent. And you know, just to stick on this point for a little bit, I have a, I have a prospective tenant who is selling their home so that they can get the large influx of cash just so that they can rent somewhere else, right? Because it's more beneficial to them to take advantage of the market as it is now. And then later on, possibly buy something else, but right now they're gonna rent in the, in the short term, right? So, so Ford's prediction is, right, uh, the rental market will continue to expand for a while longer. How long that will last, you know, that's the way the market works. You never really know, but that's something to think about moving forward. Um, now, the next thing is transactional real estate um, trends, right? Homes seem to be pricey, right? And if you ask any owner how much they want you to pay for their homes, um, that, that amount is going to be widely different from uh, what they purchased it for, right? And, th and that's not uncommon, right? But you can safely say that this is definitely a seller's market. But on average, realistically, the data shows that you know the in actually increase in home values across the board um, has only been about five percent. Now, depending on the area you're in, you know it may be higher, it may be lower, but average is only about five um, percent. And so, you want to make sure that you're taking advantage and you're, you're understanding that when you are investing in property, right? And so, with these properties, you know, only the, the value is only being increased by 5%. You would think that the market would be um, right for flipping, but unfortunately it's not. And so a lot of investors um, aren't able to flip the property. So they have to find properties that they can add value to and then put a tenant in them, right? And so, and so if you are an investor who is looking for, the, uh, for an opportunity in the market, you have to find those opportunities where a property is in a condition where you can fix it up, add some value to it, um, and then either sell it to, to a homeowner or, or rent it out. But being able to buy a property and flip it quickly without doing anything to it is going to be kind of tough in this market, even though the actual increased values across the board has only been 5%. So look for those opportunities to add improvements to the properties. And if you can get a property in um, a, um, an opportunity zone, you may be able to use two or three K funds um, to do that rehab, even as an investor. Um, the next thing um, trend that we want to talk about is, you know, cap rates and gross rent multipliers, right? You need to understand that those still matter, right? You need to make sure you are uh, understanding what the, uh, the cap rate is for your property because it's going to directly, um, it's going to directly impact. It's going to tell you, it's the cap rate is basically going to give you a sense of um, how much, you know, the, the cost to maintain that property, right? So your expenses, right? So it helped, since you have to take that into account, you wanna make sure that you are utilizing cap rates and you, you're utilizing the gross rent multipliers as a mechanism to determine whether the deal is a good deal. On average, 10% cap rate is what people are looking for. From what I've seen with the, um, with the properties coming across my desk, you see them putting them out there for anywhere six to 7%. And so you have to really determine based on your investment strategy if that is good enough for you or whether that's not a deal that you want to um, you want to go you want to um, you want to um, you want to go for but at the end of the day um, what it comes down to is understanding that you need to use the cap rate and a gross rent multiplier because they still matter in determining whether a deal is good and is going to help you um, make those better investment decisions moving forward now, the last um, trend that we want to talk about is uh, understanding that, you know, property man rental property management partnerships on the rise. Um, and, you know, the reality is when investing is easy, problem free, 
owners typically don't have an issue with self-managing their property, right? It's only when things go wrong, like an unprecedented pandemic, um, that the real estate investor realizes that they need help, right? But if you partner with a rental property management company, it'll give you a leg up on you know, your investment strategy and it'll minimize the risk and increase revenue flow. Um, and they'll definitely help reduce your, re increase your ROI. If you're ready to explore your rental property investment options with a rental property management partner, contact us. You can click on the link on the article to reach us. Uh, you can also reach me at rcharles at pmijcmrealtygroup.com or you can call me at 813-333-9617. Um, it's always our intention to keep you informed regarding the latest trends here in Tampa. Um, and we want to make sure that within this market, you have the best information possible. If this particular topic is helpful and you'd like to take the next step to con consider signing up for our free webinar, um, in this webinar, you'll discover how to streamline your rental property portfolio for maximum growth. It's a very hot topic that every investor should, um, should hear and you should not wanna miss it because not only are we gonna talk about this topic, we're gonna talk about taxes and how to use the taxes to get money back and put money back into your pocket, increasing your ROI, how to show your property 10 times in a week without having to go to the property except for once. So, I mean, that's, that's, it saves you money and gas, very efficient. How to guarantee your rent even if the tenant doesn't pay, particularly in the pandemic. There's been horror stories about tenants not paying their rent, right? But I've been able to help investors continue to get their rent on time um, through a variety of means. There's a lot of free money out there that people are not taking advantage of. And that's definitely something we'll talk about in the webinar as well. You can also consider joining the ranks of our Facebook group to connect with other rental property owners, both in Tampa and beyond. We exchange ideas and address challenges um, with other um, savvy investing professionals. And should you have more detailed questions about um, a tailor in need of tailor response, schedule an official meeting on my calendar and we can go ahead and connect. Again, you can reach out to me directly at rcharles at PMIJCM. Realty.com. You can also contact me um, through um, by calling me at 813-333-9617. And you can also um, kind of go to my website and get more information about us as well. Again, this is Roland from PMI JCM Realty Group. Thank you for your time and do have a great day.